Shout out to LB and Like a Banana. Hey, what's up, guys? This your boy LB. How is your boy? And you tuning in to Likeable Dialogue. Hey, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to Likeable Dialogue with your boy LD Duck Kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, man, today I got my boy Lewis with me, man, aka, you know uh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I mean, your boy Drew Drew. Shout out LD the Kid. Likeable Dialogue. Dialogue. Shout out to that boy Lou He joining me today man Hey we gonna have some Great conversations today man Let me tell you man We got some uh, Major topics That we're gonna go over today man Uh, This this conversation You really don't wanna miss Louis man What's up with you man What up LD How you been brother Man chilling man Just trying to start this channel My guy You know what I'm saying Uh, You know Just trying to start this channel I'm proud of you dog I'm proud of you Hey, appreciate that, my brother. Appreciate that, man. So, Lewis, man, tell the people, man. How, tell the people, man. Do you remember how we met? Yeah, I remember. I met my dog D. I worked at Sam's Club, and I worked in produce, and he worked in uh, and he worked in the fucking uh, center section. Center section. I, I still got, I still got his name saved as D Center section. Wow, bro. <laughs> I never changed his contact name. <laughs> hey, that boy that moved up from center section. <laughs> Hey, my dog doing it. Dog out, man. Bro, I'm telling you, you got to check this dude out. His name is AB, man. His name is AB, man. This was AB was it's like just now developing, man. Yeah, AB. Coming into his own. And, and, and he, and, and AB, he, yeah, yeah. AB was, when he lost to Marcos McDonough, bro, I think we both cried that night, dog. Bro, I was hurt. I, went, I remember, I, bro, I found my Twitter account, bro. And, uh, bro, I was, man, I was posting. <laughs> I was posting. I was trying to text. I was trying to, like, make sure I get in, get in touch with AB. AB, hey, man, they cheated you. They cheated. They cheated. They cheated. I remember that, man. I hurt my feelings, dog. I remember we. I watched that fight at your house. I remember. Yeah, at yeah, my yeah. house. Uh-huh. We watched I, a lot of fights at my house. And then I remember, bro. We talk. I talked to um your cousin Antonio. You remember? I was like, yo, bro, you gotta watch yeah. this dude, man. He lit. And then you was like, and then I remember Antonio was like, I thought y'all said he can fight. I was like, nah, chill out, bro. Chill out, man. That's AP. You don't understand, bro. He about billions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of AB, man, did you watch the fight last Friday? Nah, did he win? Nah, yeah, yeah, he won. He fought Bill Hutchison, man. You know, I think he hurt his wrist, man, because I was watching um Ellie Setback, man, and um he was saying how he he hurt his 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 hand. So I think he broke his hand, but um they've been talking about this Roly and um Adrian Broner, man. I think that'll sell way more than Tank and Ryan. Oh, Rolly versus Rolly AB. AB Ooh, boy, Ooh, say what, man? Wait, hold on. So how did how did AB look though? Did he look? It depends on how he looked though. But you know, he, he did, did he the, barely beat him, but he just like tore him up. See, man, you gotta give AB <laughs> some. You gotta give AB some, 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 because you know he been out the ring. He been out the ring no. for like two years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, maybe, you know, if he get himself right, you know what I'm saying, and continue to train, then, yeah, then he'll be better. Was was he the old AB or the new AB? Was he throwing punches or was he still not He was throwing? active. He was active. You know what I'm saying? He could have did through a little bit more punches. You know what I'm saying? But he was he was active. But I felt like he was, I think he got gassed out. I will. I, well, watching the fight, I believe that he got gassed out. But then when I go back and look at it. He, I don't believe he got gassed out. I believe um, he hurt his hand. So when he hurt oh. his hand, yeah, when he hurt his hand, he couldn't throw no more because, like I said, when I was watching some of the videos on YouTube, um, Ellie sat back. He was saying he was telling Coach Kenny that um, that um, he he's going to throw his right hand no matter what. He's going to throw it. He was about to throw it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you think he he look hurt, but he look he look active though. Beyond what Asia and Bona normally look. That was that's pretty good. That's promising. Yeah. That's gonna be a good fight to him versus yeah, Rose. Hey man, shout that's out to AB, man. Shout out to AB, man. Hey, shout out AB. Hey man, speak of the Spence, bro. <laughs> hey. Hey, speaking of Spence, who put you on Spence? That my dog L D the kid put me on Spence. I said I'm bro. talking about when Spence was 
when Spence was first getting started, he didn't even have a name. He, he like, didn't have a name. He didn't, even, he didn't even have nobody in the crowd. I think AB, I think he fought on an AB undercard. I'm not for sure. Don't quote me on that. He fought on somebody undercard. And um, he, it was weird because they had the undercard. And then after the undercard, then they started uh, the, um, what's that? So they had the main event, and then after the main event, they um did the undercard. That I thought that was really oh, weird. Yeah, and it wasn't nobody was in the crowd. Problem. But I, me being like a trying, me being a sport of the, uh, me being a fan of the sport, I stayed there and I watched it. Yeah, yeah, I stayed there and, and I, I watched it, and I was like, bro, you gotta check this dude out. His name is Earl Spence. He the truth, and he from Dallas, Texas, bro. You gotta watch yeah. him. I was not sold on Earl Spence at first. I was not sold. I'm not gonna lie. And one day Earl Spence fought. Who did he fight? Uh, I think it was. It was. Uh, I'm gonna tell you. I don't know. I'm trying to see what. What was the first fight that you saw? But I remember when he fought. Uh, uh, what's his name? Algeri. Man, Yo, yes. Oh my god Chris Algeri Yes Oh, oh bro god. He Oh bro He demolished oh that god. guy Bro He dem- He put that dude In the dump <laughs> Oh he my god He put that dude In the dirt <laughs> I'm not even yeah. Lying to you bro He put that hey. dude In the dirt And you know It's crazy Because Chris Algeri Was on a little streak At that moment too He yeah, ran into Earl just, Spence yeah, he, And his career mm-hmm. Been the same since dog mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Earl Spence Literally When he say He break niggas will He really break their will But yeah, he, he can't really even break their will no more. Yeah man He um He um Man bro what, what, But what really Caught my eye About Earl Spence I knew he was a truth But at the time Um um, Lamont Peterson was a dog. Oh yeah, and Lamont was a dog. Was, Lamont Peterson was a dog, bro. I think Lamont Peterson beat Danny Garcia. You heard that here first. Oh, yeah, 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 bro. Exclusive. Y'all can That's keep the laughs. News. Y'all can yes, keep. They can Lamont keep the definitely. laughs. All that, bro. He did. He he did that, bro. He beat Danny Garcia first, bro. He beat Danny Garcia that that, that fight. They robbed my boy. They robbed yeah. my boy. Had me pissed off, man. Big fact. Had me pissed off. Okay. That fucked Lamont Peterson career up. That fucked it up, bro, because they cheated. Bro, and if you look at the fight, Danny Garcia's face was effed up. It was messed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, hey, bro. Yeah, bro. And then, you know, not only that, bro, um, but when Adrian, I mean, not Adrian Brown, but when Earl Spence fought him, bro, I was like, oh my God, bro, that boy is the truth. Cause I was nervous. You know, my favorite fighters, bro, my heart just be bumping to my chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, dang, man. Shoot, man. But yeah. Hey, yeah, Danny, yeah, Danny had a good run, but yeah, when he. Yeah, Earl Spence was just something different on top of Danny. It's crazy that you say that like Danny had a good run, right? So they had a, a whole discussion about um about Danny and his run. They were saying, Who who did Danny fight? Terrence Crawford said, Who did Danny fight? He was like, Every time he went up to somebody, he lost. And I was like, What? Dang. Yeah, but but he he made some good points. He says when he stepped up to fight Sean Porter, what'd he do? He lost. When he stepped up to fight Keith Thurman, what'd he do? He lost. He said when he stepped up to um Earl Spence off of a car wreck, what did he do? He lost. He said that on um on another podcast. On- Danny came up all the way for what one thirty five. Yeah, and that's what Danny they said. Danny was never supposed to fight at one forty seven. Yeah, Danny that's what was they supposed said. to say at one forty. He mm-hmm. was being greedy though. Mm-hmm. He that's was being greedy. So 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 if Danny would have stayed where he was, all the people he named was one forty seven. It's naturally big guys, and yeah. Danny Danny was already small for the one forty seven. So yeah. he really wasn't supposed to be going up and wait at, at 147 to yeah. fight those guys. Can you imagine so, if I mean, Danny Terry, stayed at 135? I don't mean to cut you off, but do you, can you imagine that? Him fighting Tank beat, you know, that would be a good match. Up, you know, that would be a good still, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I think he, yeah, to, I think he um, in training camp trying to get ready for um, Ursley Lara. Yeah, no, he find he he find uh Erslandi Lara, the yeah, one yeah. the nigga that beat Canelo. He beat Canelo. Canelo. He beat Canelo. Two hours later. <laughs> I 
Yeah, yeah, I remember, bro. That, that's my favorite fighter, bro. Bro, that's I remember. I was at your house, fight. bro. I was at your house. I said, man, I, I, bro, we watching this. We scoring it. We jumping up and down, bro. We like, yeah, yeah we bro. We are, bro. He won. <laughs> yeah, bro. He won. He won. We jumping up and down. And then all of a sudden, bro, they said. The, bro, thing, the I first hurt. time I seen a robbery in boxing, bro, in yes. real life. Yes, I'd bro. always heard about him, but that was the first one I seen in real life. That's why I say, bro, if if anybody fight Canelo, do not have a Hispanic referee. Not being racist, okay, bro, because hey. that's what they do. They it's, they always they always you know what I'm saying like overscore him for some reason. Yeah, always. You know he he was the golden boy, and now he ain't the golden boy no more. It was Ryan, and not Ryan that. Oscar into it. Oscar needs to chill out. He needs to get down. I don't understand what's going on with Oscar, bro. He's losing all. He, bro, how do you lose Canelo the bag? <laughs> he's the ba- he's the ba- he's the, the superstar, bank. <laughs> how you gonna be he's the promoter to be and the superstar? One thing I give about Mayweather. One thing I give credit. Hey. I give credit to Mayweather. Right, like on his yeah. last fight on Tank, biggest fight. Mayweather stood in the background. You know what I mean? Yeah. They say, quote unquote, he's not um, tank uh, promoter no more, but I don't believe it. Time for our next segment. It goes something like, <laughs> let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's talk, talk about, about it. it now, let's man. talk about it on likable. Likable dollar. <laughs> Forget to press that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more on Likeable Dialogue. Legendary. Where, where do you stand at, man? Who you going for? You have you have somebody who you going for or what? I'm I'm standing with Spence. Why you going Only with Spence? from the fact that he's a bigger fighter, much bigger. I'm watching the press conference and I'm seeing these guys sit next to each other. Yeah. And I'm like, Lord, man. Spence looked like a 154 already. He already looked like he was 154. Like, and Crawford looked like he barely 130. Yeah, if you yeah. Watch, when he got the Gucci shirt on, you look at him like, you're like, yo, he is way bigger than Crawford. Yeah, yeah. So, what about you, dog? Who you going with? Man, you know what? It's quite interesting, man. You know, I've been an Earl Spence fan since he didn't have no fans. You know what I mean? He was trying to make a name for himself. Um, yes, sir. Crawford, he's done his thing at 147. Um, but after watch, I know you. I know you said you only watched um one of the um podcast. I mean, one of the um press conferences, right? Yeah, and some of the other ones. Some of the I watched the first one. But they, you watched the one. Dang it! But you didn't watch the one um in New York, did you? Yeah, that's the that's the one I watched. I think oh I watched man, all of that. that's he the, had the best one. On, not that's the, the best one, bro. That's the best yeah. one. Oh. Yeah, I watched that one this morning. Bro, that's the best one, bro. That was the best yeah. one. The um the first one was kind of mm, you know, but um that second one. Hey, did you hear Earl say, "Bro, who you fought? Who you fought? He who ain't you fought, fought nobody." But in um Top rank is a good matchmaker. Yeah, man, they took the gloves off on that one, bro. They took the gloves hey, off, man. Nobody want to acknowledge the fact that Top Rank also have the pound for pound promotion with ESPN, so of course Terrence Crawford gonna be number one. Always gonna be number one. Yeah, always. Come on, Terrence Crawford. To me, haven't fought anybody. Okay. Hey, don't let Terrence Crawford. Hey, don't let Terrence Crawford hear you saying that, bro. Terrence Crawford said. Terrence Crawford said. They always say. Terrence Crawford said. They always say who I fought, who I ain't fought, who I ain't fought. But all these people are still on the on the pound for pound list. I think he said David Avenesia. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name right, but I think that's his name. He said that he was on a pound for pound list at um rank number six. So he said just because these he said just because we don't know these people. Um, they still rank high on the pound for pound list that, he, that he's fighting. That's what I mean, Crawford that say. Be, that can be his reason, but also let's remember Top Rank has has a deal with ESPN, a promotional deal. So of course they're going to have them fighters ranked on their pound for pound list. Right. They're not going to have Showtime fighters put on there because we already know Showtime fighters. Showtime have the best fighters. Yeah, <laughs> PBC, whoever they want to be. Yeah, uh, they have the best fighters, so of course their fighters not gonna be on ESPN pound for pound list. Yeah, because they ain't making no money with them okay. guys. Exactly. So I mean, Terry Crawford can say that, but let's 
let's be honest, Spencer really said it. He did all the heavy lifting. He, 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 he said it. Like yeah. you can name all the all the guys in the press conference, the other press conference when they were sitting next to each other, he had a Gucci shirt on. All the guys he named that he wanted to fight when he moved up to one forty seven since demolished all of them. Yeah. He said I, Keith Thurman and got him out of there. Right, right. He I, said Danny, he got him out of there. He mm-hmm. said Porter, he got him out of there. Yeah. I wanna mention something. I don't I don't think a lot of people know this. Before Earl Spence, who was the boogeyman of the walkaway division? Do you know? Before Earl Spence, it was Keith Thurman. Nope. Ooh. <sighs> who was the boogeyman before Keith Thurman? You can, yeah. Let me know when you get it. Was up. Sean Porter. Sean it Porter. Was Sean Sean Porter He was the boogeyman Before Earl Spence Hey man You the champ bro Thank you, man Thank Hey you, man. only way AB gonna come back Is if you get Kenny Porter Oh That's man That's the only way I know he coming back But he that need Kenny cool. Porter though man I, That would be cool I, I like somebody, to see how that works out Carson you hear that Carson my man Yeah They hey. said They said If AB come back He need to come back With Kenny Porter That's the only way He gonna come back So It was Sean Porter It was Sean Porter bro Sean Porter yes, Sean Porter Cause I fact. remember when his daddy used to say Man we don't got nobody That wanna fight him We, we, we You know we, we handing out these contracts Don't nobody wanna accept it Yeah and I would say he wrestled He wrestled I remember you You yeah. wasn't a Sean Porter fan I wasn't a Sean Porter fan at first I used, to, fan at first, I used bro. to be the biggest Sean Porter yes. fan man He used to make me you mad say Sean Porter. I couldn't bro <laughs> But I grew to like him And then when I grew to like him he retired on me. He retired on you. Now he's but, doing his thing as, as a broadcaster. Though. Yeah, he is, man. Hey, shout out, shout out, shout out, bro. Did you see my picture with him when I took took with him over there, man? I, you know, I was on there for like five seconds. I got my little, my little, my, <laughs> I got my little fame for like five seconds. Yeah, I, see, I got my little five uh, seconds of fame. I told you, I told, I, I, I told this nigga, you gonna go to like Sean Porter? Why? Yeah, yeah, you I did, go to man. Like I did. Hey man, but yeah, back on the Earl Spence and Crawford, um, and Crawford fight, man. I did you? I didn't know. Did you? Did you listen to the Breakfast Club um, interview that Terrence no, Crawford I, had? I didn't listen to it. What happened, brother? Man, I did not know Terrence Crawford lost to you, Dennis Ugas, um, uh, coming up. Yeah, before he and, turned uh, pro. In amateurs, yeah, he lost to Dennis Ugas. I did yes, not sir. know that. He, he lost to Dennis Uga. I knew that. I didn't know that. And to me, I don't, I don't, I didn't, I don't like Dennis Uga. I didn't like his style. I didn't, I didn't think he was. I was scared fighter. of him, bro. When I ain't gonna lie, I think, and I know a lot of people. I think your Dennis Uga has really beat Sean Porter. I think. No, sir. No, sir. I don't think. I was nervous. That boy can bang. I was nervous when Earl Spence fought him. I was nervous, bro. I went to the fight. I was nervous. I was nervous. Oh, I was wow. drunk and nervous. I was drunk and nervous. <laughs> I was drunk and nervous. Yeah. I was drunk and nervous. I was drunk and nervous. <laughs> Earl Spence, didn't he get didn't he get hurt? No, Earl Spence did not get hurt. It did not count. It's that referee fault. The referee says stop. What fight we talking? We talking you Dennis Ugas when he hit when he hit oh. Earl Spence. The referee oh. says stop. That was the referee fault. Earl Spence did not get hurt. So when the referee says stop, when they first start a fight, what do the referee tell the people? I mean, tell the boxers. Listen, listen to my commands at all times. Listen to my commands all at all times. So if his yeah. so if his command was to say stop. Bye. Earl yes, Spence Stop So it ain't no sense To protect them myself At all times Right Because you You tell them Both fighters to stop Yeah Yeah Right And Earl Spence Stop You did it Popped them Mouthpiece fell out Now I'm gonna tell you At that point I was Nigga I think I sobered up I said oh, You know what I'm saying nigga, I think I sobered up bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie bro I was like oh, You know what I'm saying <laughs> And that, that goes to show you how disciplined Earl Spence is, bro. He 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 respect coaching. He respect he was. That's why I love I love listening to his corner tracks. 
yeah. more than anything, just listening to his coach talk to him yeah. and, and see him do exactly what the coach say. Because, you know, most of the time in the corners, they don't never listen to what the coach say. Right. <laughs> hey, but Charlamagne, hey. the guy, you know what I'm saying, on the Breakfast Club, he got um uh Earl Spence winning. But you remember back in the day, he already told Terrence Crawford, hey, I got Spence over you. Today he yeah, told yeah, yeah. So, so yeah when the interview came out he told um Terrence Crawford I mean Terrence Crawford's like yeah you got Spence over me Terrence Crawford really believed that he can he can be Spence and I'm not saying that he can't be Spence I'm saying that Terrence Crawford really feels in his heart that he can be Spence he's feel he feel, he so. feels his, yeah he said that um they always say that I fight little guys I fight this guy you know what I mean and so and Terrence Crawford said on that day and did you know that that um. That's um uh Terrence Crawford's uh mother birthday. Oh, the the day of the fight? Yeah, that's his that's his mama's birthday. Oh man. Dang, that's gonna be a sad day for the family. Damn, bro. God damn. <laughs> no, 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 no. Brother, you taking off the gloves, man. Off the gloves, man. I'm sorry. The truth is going to be revealed. I'm going to tell you why. I, I, I watch a lot of body language, right? Yeah. And it, uh, the body language tell me a lot about a about a person, especially about fighters. And I'm watching these interviews, and every time they ask Spence a question, Spence just sits there. He's just calm. He cool like I've been here before. But every time they ask Carl for the question, he rubbing his knees. He moving around. Yeah. He kind of fidgety. You know what I'm saying? Like that body language when you talking. If you speaking so confident and bold, you'll be sitting still like a lion. Man, I think um he had posted it again. I said, "Oh man, let me get it. God dang it, let me get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> let me get it." I'm bro. glad you came in, brother. Yeah, hey, so I bought both hey, of them. Support, you gotta support your people, you bro. Support you, the people, man. That's what he said. Family, my name. Yeah. Hey, one of the things, um, did you hear about him when he said um about the organizations? Um, where does the three percent go? No, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, I mean, he was saying that how they gotta pay these people to be these champions. And he's saying, where did the where is the money going? Mm. Yeah. So who got who got to pay the boards? Got to pay the people? No, the the boxers they have to pay like the WBC, the WBO. Oh, you know they saying? have to pay IBO. them. Yeah, they got to pay them three percent. And Earl Spence talked about. It. He said we need to know where this money going. Yeah, I mm. thought that was real big, that, bro. I mean, but that, he's stepping that on their toes. Big. That's kind of scary, but um, hey, he the big fish. Hey, we going. That's why he wasn't tripping about giving up the belt. Man, Mayweather See was. How easy he gave up the belt. Shit, Mayweather was getting that. My three percent. Mayweather was giving. Mayweather was getting that bag, bro. Mayweather was giving up three hundred million right. for like, one fight. This nigga don't care about being a champion. Three hundred million for one fight. Crazy numbers, bro. Yeah. That nigga. That, that nigga gotta be the. He got to own the Guinness World Record for the fastest hundred million dollars made. Man. This nigga literally clocked in when he's stepping in the ring. That's when he clocked in. And how and how long is a fight? Three rounds, twelve, three twelve mi- rounds, about three four. minutes and twenty four. Three minutes and twenty four. Let's see, three twenty four. Three okay. minutes and twenty four seconds, probably. I'm three, just thinking. Three minutes and twenty four seconds per round. Yeah. Damn, three that's... minutes. I thought it's three minute rounds. What three twelve minute rounds? Shit, I don't know, bro. That was something I thought <laughs> I saw. Twelve three minute rounds. Like it's twelve three minute rounds. Yeah. <laughs> we got this shit. We got this shit, nigga. Like going down. Like. Oh, yeah. 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 Press that subscribe button and stay tuned for more on likable dialogue.